from Alabama. I cannot for the life of me remember where I left you guys. It's been a while since I shot any video footage with with uh, my ramblings. So I will have to go back and watch the footage and figure that out. Right now we are driving through Alabama. I think So we went to Texas for a phenomenal rate, and we had a good rate coming out of Texas, and uh, that load canceled, and so we found another load, picked up in Texas, going to Virginia, and uh, it took them six hours to uh, get the product ready yesterday. Uh, they all got hit pretty hard with flooding. They were just getting back up and operational. So they're trying to ship out all, as much as they could to get caught up. And anyway, so that's that's how that goes, you know. So anyway, so the last. Uh, few runs have not been all that pleasant. Even that high pain one that went to Texas was a bit frustrating picking it up. And uh, of course we turned around it since we were so late getting out of the dock yesterday our e-logs got ate up and uh, we'll have to stay on it pretty hard to get to the place by noon tomorrow, which is Friday, and uh, the receiving hours are 8 to 10, so we've established contact, and they said they would take me if I got there at noon, so I'm trying really hard to uh, get there at noon. So then uh, to keep from getting stuck in uh, Virginia on a Friday, booked a load that went to Georgia without having a delivery schedule and then once they got the load booked they come back with a 3 a.m. delivery schedule in Georgia which absolutely sucks she's like oh yeah we'll probably get it between 5 and 10 I could have dealt with 5 to 10 but 3 a.m. yeah <clears throat> but I'm not the kind of driver that would call and say, uh, you know what, I don't want to load, forget it, keep it. I don't do that. I booked it, I stay on it. So we will deliver in Georgia at 3 a.m. on a Monday morning. So I probably won't go home because of that. It would make Sunday night too rough. But anyway, we're just riding up the road in a nasty truck. This thing is absolutely filthy. So that's about all I have to uh, share for today's adventures. It's pretty quiet, relaxing drive. Beautiful day in a nasty truck. So we are in need of a shower and a truck wash today. And we're under the gun, so both are gonna be virtually difficult task to accomplish. So we will see you guys in a bit.
Jack Lake with you guys and uh, skirt the Tennessee River through Chattanooga. Uh, and should experience some heavy traffic going up the ridge cut. So we'll give you a small glimpse of my home uh, town area today. Be driving right through there and no time to stop. So we'll see you in uh, Tennessee. Well, we are in uh, northern Georgia on uh, 59. It's fixed to get on 24. And uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I told you guys, Nigga Jack, or Nigga Jack is. We, we come out um, east, Nick, east of Nigga Jack, you know. But I'll be able to show you the um, Tennessee River Valley uh, area right, right here through uh, Chattanooga. And it's prime time uh, <clears throat> rush hour today, so it should be uh, really exciting. Mr. White Freelon, you might want to start slowing down, sir. I don't understand you getting in these heavy congested areas and they're still trying to barrel right on through. We're gonna stay over here behind this uh, slow. What we got is a, a line crew convoy behind us. When we jumped on, we we are behind the um, escort vehicle there. That's all backed up. I was gonna stop up here at this rest area and uh, use the restroom, but we are backed up. Before we can get to that, so we might still make it. I hope it ain't like this all the way to the ridge cut, but uh, it probably is. guys are running across traffic dragging barrels. I don't know how smart that is. Maybe he just did that one. Look there. Yeah. How many are they going to do? Brave people. I will right, we'll catch y'all in a bit. This is too exciting.
completely lied to you guys, I'm not going to show you, because we're still in heavy traffic, and this would be a better spot for the head cam, but I don't have the head cam on, so... Not just go around. Next time, okay? Next time. By the time we get wound up, it stops. We get up to about 40, and then we go back down to stop. this section. It always backs up on the bridge cut. So I don't I don't know how they're gonna fix it. Somebody's going to find a solution somehow. Do the mic. Got in a hurry, put the headset on. This is a view you guys haven't seen in a while. We're fixing the back end of the door right there. So I thought I'd give you guys a, a view of that. I don't know if I can do it with the seat down or not. I'm not used to being a low riding Peterbilt truck driving man. And my mirrors are nasty. The whole truck's nasty. It was real foggy this morning. That's what all that, you see all that water up on that mirror? All oh, this right here? It comes off the back of that spot mirror back there, so that is from the condensation from the fog this morning. I guess I clean my mirrors on a daily basis. And uh, I'm not sure. He might have to go to the left. I think I say he get out of here. I'm hoping he goes to the left. Uh, Some of you guys like me backing into that 
parking spot to love, so I thought I'd show you what it's like to back up with the head cam on. And well, let's put the mic in, I'm waiting for Mr. BH to move. Okay, so now we got the mic on. But I don't know what this guy's doing. That guy out there looked at me like I was crazy, right? I don't think you can close your doors there, Mr. B&H. Alright, shut the camera down. Okay, for all you motion sick people, do not watch this video. Because this is going to get you extremely sick. There's going to be a lot of head movement. Because it's going to be a pretty hard... Oh yeah, it's not going to be extremely hard, but... It's not going to be one of the easiest ones we've ever... Anybody's ever had to back into. So... Like I said, you don't want to watch... This if you get motion sick. So yeah, I guess he does go right. I don't know why. Okay, we are off. Here we go. All right, you motion sick people, please look away from your screen. We're going into that hole right there. See that? Beautiful. We got lines, everything we need. So pull up here so we can get a halfway decent setup on it. blow your setup you are screwed y'all see back there I gotta open my door stick my head out because you can't see around these Peterbilt stacks All right, so we're starting to get back up and under right there get up and under some more Cut into under a little bit. I think I. Oh, we're looking good. I think I got it all excited getting up and under, but I'm trying to keep the front end from getting so far over to the right into that Snyder pumpkin. You know? Let's get just a little bit of a pull up on it, about two feet. And we'll hit it again. I think. I should have made some my disclaimer that I am uh, extremely tired this morning. I got up at three o'clock, and so you function different when you're exhausted. And we got into that. Uh, well, I shouldn't say we got into it, but we got too close to that um, reefer trailer. We're a few inches off, but. We, uh, we could have hit that a little better. In professional truck driving championships, you're allowed one pull up. And we have uh, blew that. This right here is what? This is going to be number three. So we should have had that in the first shot. But we're making a video, so we were a little nervous. My first video on a backing up, but look at there, we uh, we made it. How'd y'all like that? And she's uh she's in there straight, see that? Alright, now we just sit here and hang out. I don't think they had any major rules. Nobody else's tandems are slid, so we're not gonna slide ours because that air slide can be uh finicky. 
when you hook back up. All right, we're back in the comforts of the uh, air condition. So we're gonna go back to doing paperwork. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>